Hansen Limited, formerly Hansen Trust plc, is a British-based international building materials company, headquartered in Maidenhead. The company has been a subsidiary of the German company Heidelbergsmint since August 2007, and was formerly listed on the London Stock Exchange and a constituent of the FTSE 100 Index. History Hansen was built up by James Hansen, later Lord Hansen, and Gordon White, later Baron White of Hull, who set up Hansen Trust in 1964. Their policy was to purchase underperforming assets and make them a source of profit. Hansen and White were willing to take a wide range of measures to do so, including mass redundancies, and therefore attracted opposition and accusations that they were asset strippers. But from 1979, the company was successful from the shareholders' point of view and respected during the early 1980s, with Hansen, who gave millions of pounds to the Conservatives, admired by Margaret Thatcher. One of the most notable takeovers, at least to the general public, was the acquisition in 1983 of the United Drapery Stores, or UDS Group, which owned many of Britain's most well known high street clothes shops and department stores, including John Collier, Richard Shops and the chain of Alders department stores. To fund this purchase, Hansen broke up UDS and sold John Collier to a management buyout team, and Richard Shops to Habitat, keeping only the core department store business. In January 1986, Hansen bought SCM, an American chemicals to typewriters business. This included the paper division that was formerly the Allied Paper Corporation. Hansen sold most of the SCM business units and the headquarters building in New York City for a significant profit. Its most significant single purchase, however, was probably its takeover of Imperial Tobacco Group in 1986. Hansen paid £2.5 billion for the group then undertook a major reorganisation, divestitures netted £2.3 billion, leaving Hansen with the hugely profitable tobacco business for «next to nothing». Hansen sold off the food brand, Golden Wonder, to Dalgetty plc in 1986. In November 1988, Hansen went on to buy Consolidated Gold Fields for £3.5 billion. The gold survey was taken on by a new company, now known as GFMS. An attempt in September 1991 to purchase Imperial Chemical Industries, once seen by many in Britain as the nation's leading company but then in decline, was highly controversial, and ended in failure. Hansen did secure the takeover of Beezer, a major housebuilder, that year. By the mid 1990s, conglomerates were no longer popular with the investment community. Some of the manufacturing businesses were spun off as U.S. industries in February 1995. In January 1996, Hansen ended its time as a diversified conglomerate by breaking itself up into four separate listed companies, Hansen plc, Imperial Tobacco, The Energy Group and Millennium Chemicals. This deal cost Lord Hansen £95 million. By August 1996, Lord Hansen stepped down as chairman in December 1997. Led by Andrew Dougal, chief executive from 1997 until 2002, Hansen focused on building materials, becoming the world's biggest aggregate supplier and the second largest supplier of ready mixed concrete. In November 1999, Hansen acquired Australian building materials business Pioneer International. Dougal quit the group in early 2002 to 
rebalance his life, leaving with a controversially large pay-off variously reported at between £400,000 and £660,000, plus a pension top-up of £636,700.In In May 2007, Heidelbergsmann announced its intent to purchase Hansen plc for £11 per share, a deal worth approximately £8 billion. This deal made the combined company the second largest cement and building materials company in the world. The transaction was completed through Heidelberg subsidiary Lehigh UK on the 22nd of August 2007. In December 2014, Heidelberg Cement agreed to sell its Hansen Building Products division to the private equity firm Lone Star for £900 million. <laughs> <laughs> Operations Hansen's two largest markets are the United Kingdom and the United States, and it is also active in many other countries. It is the world's leading producer of aggregates particles of rock, gravel and sand, and a major producer of bricks and concrete pipes. 